filling out Pipsqueak? Pipsqueak. So, uh, one of the hardest things about homesteading is that not everything always works out the way you planned. And sometimes you have success, and sometimes you have defeat. And, uh, you have to learn to manage both. Not everything goes perfect. And uh, that's kind of what this video is going to be about. So give me a few minutes and I'll let you know what's going on. Sometimes, even under the best of circumstances, nature knows what's best. Go down here to the goat barn. So the one on the left is sleeping, and the one on the right has passed away since the last time I checked it, but it was fine a couple hours ago, and it's not fine now. So, the humane thing to do is to collect it and get it out of the goat barn. Because the goats are all being distressed about it. You can hear them kind of being agitated. They know there was something wrong with that goat. In all honesty, they kind of been, I think they kind of all suspected it from the beginning. Because that goat was the one that I thought Mama was going to abandon. And I'd been keeping a very close eye on it, checking it every couple hours. About every two hours, sometimes every hour. But you could kind of tell the goats didn't want anything to do with that goat. Like nobody in the herd. They'd come up and they'd smell it, and then they'd walk away. So, uh... What I'm going to do is I've dug a hole before the rain comes this evening and uh, I've collected the deceased goat and I'm going to bury it out here in the woods and uh, let's see Saturday Sunday Saturday Sunday Monday he was uh, only four days old, and uh, 
like I said, I, I think that he either had something wrong with him and the goats could sense it, or one of the other goats laid down on it or something to that effect. I'm not really sure what. But I know there's going to be other people out there raising goats that says, oh, you should have had the mom and the babies separated from the herd. And I don't, I don't homestead like that. Uh, where, where I homestead at, it's survival of the fittest. And if there's an animal that's weak, I want it to not have a chance to pass on those genetics. So that's kind of where we're at. And I'm going to bury this goat and say a prayer. And uh, hopefully he's off to a better life.